Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today's a little bit different. As you can see, we got the new Traeger Flat Rock Griddle. This bad boy is a beast. It's just me and the old lady. There's absolutely no way that between the two of us we can get it inside the house on the back deck. Who are you calling old? You. So what we decided to do is have a little different, you know, ambiance, right? So uh, what we're going to do is uh, break it apart, take it to the back, put it together, uh, get it ready to go, and see what the fuss is all about. Start here to get fired up, buddy. I was already fired up when it came off the oh. truck. <laughs> Two less instructions, we'll come back to it. Golly, what packaging? Who does this? This is the first Traeger anything I've ever had. So I'm not familiar with it. If packaging says anything, good Lord. We got all the pieces broken down, moved to the back porch, ready to assemble. Um, talking about first impressions, we haven't even put the darn thing together yet. And let me show you what we got. I just absolutely love it. I think every <laughs> parent out there can agree. You can get your kids whatever you want, uh, but ultimately they play with the boxes more than the toys. Absolute phenomenal job. You can actually put this together. You're going to throw it away anyways. But why not make use out of it? I am absolutely over the moon impressed by the smallest things. Will it matter one hill of beans, how good it cooks? No. But if you put this much attention to detail, you can actually assemble this. And it's like a this box turned into a play stage coach for your little flavor pioneer. Scan for assembly instructions. I think that is just, matter of fact, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to set We're going to do it. And absolutely. Then we're gonna... I'll play with it. All right. Well, let's get back to what we need to say. I mean, that that is just... That's, that, that's, that's marketing uh, genius. genius right there. Talk about value added. <laughs> it happens to us all. I got to a part where I felt uncomfortable. It might be the first time ever I've actually scanned something and used a QR code. So you just go to Traeger, download their app, and it shows you this really cool little gadget that just shows you exactly how that piece is supposed to go. That was what I was having trouble with. There's also another piece there. Obviously, it's in the instructions. It just caught me off guard. Uh, put it together, there are a couple hiccups, but honestly, it was just us just reading the instructions. There is a little thing where you can uh, click on the link, download the app, and then all of a sudden it, it shows images of you doing it the right way. Which we needed. <laughs> uh, but it worked out once we got it done. I'm just trying to get this bad boy seasoned. But let me tell you, and I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I'm smiling. Whole different vibe. This one from the other one that I did. This thing is a boost. It is a tank. Every single thing that we put together is absolutely thick coated metal. There is nothing cheap so far that I've felt. Everything has felt just absolutely solid as a rock. And it is huge. It, For a three it's, burner. It's big. It's huge. <laughs> like it doesn't even, the whole thing doesn't even fit. I can't right. step back far enough. You're just trying to get the, all those oil, old oils off. Um, I definitely feel like the the actual surface is extremely rough. We sanded our blackstone down because of that. Um, I won't be sanding this down. Even though it's rough, it's you. It's uh, uniformly rough, if that makes sense. It's not, um, there's no really high spots or anything like that. Reminds me a lot of my camp chef. Um, now, you would normally be washing it with the griddle off. Can we just have that disclaimer? Well, it's just a low. I mean, you're going to wash it anyway. I mean, plus it helps release those greases, those uh, oils that they use on there. Helps dry it out. It's not a big deal. All right, now that it's washed off, we got all that uh, oil that it came shipped with off. We're just going to turn the burners on high, give it about 10, 15 minutes, and... Um, Start the seasoning process. Oh, today, first time ever, I'm using grapeseed oil. You guys know I'm a huge fan of avocado oil. Um, I also like the Crisco uh, lard, hard lard. Um, one of the things where, like, it seems like I don't get a season often. A brand new one. Right. So when you have the opportunity, I like to use different oils. Those three are kind of like all in the same category, but this will be my first time using that. There's no difference. You know, I'm not doing anything crazy. It's just a different oil that I want to try. So that's what we're doing today. All right, we got it to the point where we need to be. It's been preheating like 10 minutes. Uh, just shooting the infrared gun. Uh, it's hitting up there about 500, which is what you would expect. Pretty even heat coming across. Grapeseed oil been treated just like avocado or like Crisco. We're looking at about like five different coats, something like that.
Just make sure you get all around the corners, the edges. And then you're looking about another 10 minutes in between each one to let all that oil burn off. You see how rough this griddle top is? I probably could have knocked it down a hair with some sandpaper or a brick, but just want to try something different. People say to use shop towels. So you the grabbed blue a ones. shop towel. Well, they well they say to use blue ones because they don't uh, they don't shred like white paper towels. Number two. All right, we're hitting about the number three mark on the seasoning. I'm hitting 589, 575. It's pretty good to me. Not many times I use that high heat anyways. So this is number three. You can tell how little smoke there was. That's when you know it's time to start your third, fourth, fifth, second, whatever. You're allowing that oil to burn. This is not a how-to seasoning. I've got plenty of those videos available. This is more just getting it done so we can move on to the next step. All the sides, inside and out. Should we show them what you're doing in between the seasoning coats? <laughs> Putting that stage coach together. <laughs> right on, cowboy. All right, I'm on my fifth coat. I just put it down. Drastic difference, one in color, two not near as much paper towel lint tearing off. You can definitely tell that it's getting seasoned. The rough edges are starting to knock down a little bit, starting to build up with the seasoning. You can see here, it's not near as bad. So remember, just thin coats, be patient. You know, seasoning is a process. So we'll probably do it one or two more times, turn it off, let it cool down and finish our thoughts. All right, today's the next day. We just got done seasoning it yesterday. Um, between putting it together and seasoning it, um, and me having fun with the uh, with the stagecoach. We just ran out of light, and I thought it'd be just better to film it the next day. So that's where we're at. Um, but I do want to say like a quick disclaimer before we go forward. Um, this griddle was given me to me or us for free. Uh, Traeger reached out because of the support of you guys. Um, with the Weber griddle review, you guys can see the comments just like we can. It was just flooded with Traeger, 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 Traeger. And I think they noticed that, and it just gives us the, a great opportunity to come forward with you guys with a new griddle. That being said, the hardest thing about this whole opportunity we had was whether or not we buy it or we giving it to us for free. The reason is it feels like we lose credibility just because we got it for free versus buying it. Uh, so I just want to re reiterate to you guys or maybe put caution to the wind. Traeger knows dang well after our communication with them that just because we get a free griddle does not diminish our value and what we feel like should be said on the griddle. We're going to give it our true assessment, our pros and cons, our goods and bads. We're going to put it through the paces that we see fit, right? We're the ones cooking on it. And so it's our information we're laying on you guys. So believe it or not, I mean, I was actually, I was actually pretty excited. They were confident in the product. They said, we understand the two feet you're standing on. We understand the community you've built. And we would just love the opportunity for you guys to show it to your viewers. And I said, okay. And I said, um, just to reiterate, if we do receive it for free, there's no obligation. Like, like this is not a selling point or nothing like that. And they said, no, matter of fact, we actually like that because we feel confident in our griddle. We'll take the bruises if they come, but we think we've put out a good enough product. And I gotta be honest with you, talking to a company like that really kind of, not necessarily took me off guard, but I really appreciated them taking the opportunity to reach out to us and or take the lumps as they come based on our opinions. So I just want to get that out there. We got it for free, but by no means does this change our opinion. And I think everybody out there at this point knows what our opinion is. It's our opinion only. Can yep. we get back to the good stuff? Yep. We, we will make the same video whether we buy the griddle or we get it for free. Absolutely. We will make the same video. Uh, we're just going to talk about all the features, the things that we like, the things that they wish that had done, some of the things that we noticed right away. The first impression I get is, holy cow. It's big. It's, it's sturdy. It's beefy. It's thick. It's heavy as sin. Um, so It looks like a spaceship. I mean, That's what I think, too. When we're talking about appearances <laughs> versus other griddles in your first... Um, 
what do you call it? Your first impressions blows me out of the water. I've done a lot of research. I've seen a lot of people use them and I'm just like, I did not expect it to be that big. I didn't expect it to be that heavy and I didn't expect it to impress me as much as it has on the first appearance, even though I've already seen it. That's just how it is. Yeah, right. it does. It looks, it looks almost like more impressive in person than it does on video. Would you say, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. I mean, it is a beat. All the pieces that we put together were absolutely like thick gauge metal. Uh, the one thing we're going to get to right now is the four caster wheels. I absolutely swear by caster wheels when it comes to griddle cooking. Only because we use griddles, we move our griddles around all the time. For the average viewer out there, it might not matter. But these, uh, all four of these can lock as well. I just think that's an absolute fan. It better have four wheels because it's heavy. That's for dang sure. But those dang bolts that go into the bottom of it have got to be ring finger thick. I mean, it's a big bolt. It's none of those like weenie peeny ones. Um, so I was very impressed just from the word weenie go. Weenie peeny. <laughs> Is that like teeny weenie on? <laughs> a little bit bigger than a teeny weenie. Uh, the one thing you will notice right away coming up from the bottom, if we just work our way up that way, there's no bottom shelf. The reason is they decided to take the propane tank from the outside and move it on the inside. Okay. We can get to that. They also have this incredible, which I've seen people use it and they've talked about it, but not until you put it in your hand, do you realize the sturdiness and or thickness that this bad boy offers. I mean, if this ain't a coffee maker cup, I don't know what is. It is stout. Like you, you could do some damage. If there's ever a burglary, the first thing I'm going to is this right Knock here. Knock about with the grease trap. I'm telling you. Absolutely massive. I don't think you're gonna worry about you know like your grease running over. If you do, you put a lot of grease down in it. Um, I really like that concept. It's out of the way. Um, you don't even see it. Uh, moving back on the propane tank, it's hidden, or it's not hidden. It's inside the frame of the Traeger because this thing's so big. I'm sure they thought about this that the shelves fold down 100% completely, which I absolutely love because when you're needing of space now all of a sudden you've got a true fold downable um griddle that you can store and the more we get into griddle cooking and the more we get to be friends with people around the country the more we realize not everybody cooks on the grill griddle year round a lot of people store them for the winters or they store them at the lake house and so space um is not um as abundant as it is here i love the idea that the shelves come down the shelves are absolutely heavy duty as well. Um, they've got this really nice uh, system that I'm completely unfamiliar with. So I won't talk to them about it a lot. I want to experience it first. But uh, we also got the, um, the roll rack, which holds paper towels and or as you can see, butcher paper. Uh, we could put those on. We'll put those on by the end of the video. And we also have a storage bin that sits just as well. Uh, so we'll get back to that, but that's another feature that makes it even larger, right? So you put your storage bin or your paper towels over here, although it doesn't have a paper towel accessory. Now you've got it off the side of it. One, it keeps it off the table and two, it's just more storage. we talked about the tables and how they fold down, but these tables are absolutely massive. I mean, absolutely massive what they were while we were seizing the griddle. Most of this surface through here, since there is a gap and since the uh, flames are hidden underneath, stayed pretty cool to the touch. I would say, Ooh. Ooh. allergy season. I would say allergy season upon us, but really and truly, I had no problems putting my hand here. I still don't think I'd want to put a squirt bottle here, but there's so much real estate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Especially to the people that need a pot of pan to push some ingredients down, a nice size cutting board, plenty of structure. I like it. We've got the, uh, the ignite system here. You can turn one burner on at a time. Just hit that ignite button. Um, our propane tank, let me show you this right here. You're supposed to um, calibrate this to where it shows you how full your tank is. The problem is you're supposed to do it on a full tank. Unfortunately, since we have so many things on the griddle right now, and with the addition of a new griddle, we don't have a full tank. So that's something we'll get into. Uh, we'll get it done. It's not a big deal. It doesn't prohibit you from using your griddle one way or the other. Plus, most of my, most of my tanks already have the gauge on there. Yeah. So it's a feature that comes with it. Um, I think it is a really good feature, but right now we're just not going to use it. 
Um, and one of the things I want to get to is the lid. Kind of like a good and a bad. You could definitely tell they put some thought behind it because this is an absolute beast to raise and lower. Um, it does feel like it's very, very, very heavy. Extremely impressive. The problem is you're not supposed to be able to use it on clothes when your griddle's on. I think that's a huge no-no, especially for people that really want to try to dome like a pizza or get that uh, do like the idea of um, do uh, donuts or um, uh, biscuits. Anytime you want that 360 heat, I know there's aftermarket uh, griddle covers or um, melting domes. Melty domes available, I understand, but it's really nice, especially when you get up in the higher price tag, that this lid right here will be conducive to hold the heat a little bit. So that way you get that 360 heat. That's just one of the negatives I see. Um, that's really about it. I do know that they've got caution right here. It does get hot through this area. Um, it'll be interesting long term with this paint job since it does hold the heat how long this paint stays without peeling All right, we're gonna lift that cold griddle off a little bit show you guys on the inside We got that uh, Double burner system with the horseshoe and we got the partitioners in the middle The one of the things that uh, seems like been very popular and talked about is the ability to use one burner at a time two burners at a time also, the ability to keep the flames on one side. Now, there will be a little bit of bleed over on your griddle, uh, so the heat will probably come together somewhat. But the ability to cook on different zones for different things seems very intrigued. You can see where the heat can escape back here pretty well. I kind of like that. Um, looking on the bottom of this griddle, you know, I, I don't know what the future will hold. Typically, all the griddles we've had have had some type of back support for warpage. Uh, this looks pretty like a flat rock. Get it? Ha, 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 So we'll see how long, how long that lasts. It's, uh, it's heavy as sin, so that seems to be pretty well. There's not a lot of things I don't like about it, to be honest with you. I know it's all about um, the cooking from this part. Just like when we got to the Weber, we felt like... Uh, we didn't like the design, but it, it cooked well. It missed all of this. It missed every single bit of this, but it excelled right here. And ultimately, that's what we're here for. I didn't make the grill, but I don't sell the grill. I know there's a lot of people out there through the comment threads and stuff like that that complain that the price is too high. It's an overpriced griddle. Um, I think for the price of griddles that are out there so far, in my personal opinion, being a three burner, the three burner is actually dwarfs my two other three burners. So it's almost like a mini four burner. I would call it a four burner almost way before I call it a three burner. Uh, you'll see that when we do the pros and cons. The point is, I think each person has their own budget. So it's unfair for me to say it's overpriced or underpriced. I think what Traeger did, in my personal opinion, has come out swinging for the fences. They didn't leave anything to imagination. They didn't come out and just say, here's something, here's the market, see if you like it. They put a lot of thought behind it and it's hard not to respect that part of their business being an outside fan. It's the first trigger I've ever had, but I'm, I'm, if first impressions matter, it's built like a rock. It's absolutely beautiful, and I cannot wait to cook on it. So at least that gives you excitement. I'm sure a three-year-old would fit in here better than I would, but I told you I was going to put it together and have fun with it. I tried my best to keep my kids out of it last night. They didn't like daddy too much. <laughs> Last but not least, it's got a five-year warranty. I told you I was going to get a kick out of this thing. <laughs> Traeger's got a five-year warranty. I think it's pretty cool. I'll have to do some research, a little bit more about what it covers. Um, I'm not sure about the griddle top. Sometimes there's uh, variations, but we'll get to that and get you guys some information. I'm over the moon impressed. I really am. I think it's absolute workhorse. It's a beast. Um, I'm smiling before I even use it, so hopefully the actual cooking lives up to the appearance. Um, you guys know what happens when we break into griddle. The first thing is... Cheese steak. Second thing is... Breakfast. There we go. So when you're talking about price and you're trying to compare the two, this is why I think my emotions, you know, were just so high once I actually got it and unboxed it versus this when I said it just lacked the appearance. So just to give you an idea, right? So the Weber with the side tables that do not adjust are 53 inches, not including the rails... Oh, I don't even know if I got a tape measure. Not including the rails, it's 71 inches. Okay. 
the griddle table, 22 and a half, 18 and three quarters. The lid comes off so it's not hinged, which is not a big deal. I know it's not a big deal, but it's just something extra. 18, 18 and a quarter. Are you ready for this for a three for a three burner? 28 inches, and here's the kicker. 33 inches, so five inches difference. Um, you see the height difference? This has no wind guards at all. So you're looking at what, 35 inches? And this to the ground up is about 37 and a half inches. It's got built in a wind guard. That's why your griddle fits right in the middle. So that's why when we're mentioning price, that's why I wanted to roll this out there to give you just the idea of how much larger and what you're getting for the price. Like I said, I have no bones in the fight, but uh, just give you like a kind of like an idea. The one major reason why I was shocked so much once you actually put it together, how big and what you're actually getting. The proof is still in the pudding when it comes to the surface. We'll get to that as soon as we can, but ultimately that's the way it goes. Uh, I know for a fact, uh, that you guys have been asking and asking and asking. We've just been waiting and waiting and waiting for the right time. We will do another pros and cons video, an upgraded pros and cons video. Uh, we've got the Pit Boss, the Blackstone, the Traeger, and the Weber. It's a good combination of all the griddles, different sizes, different heights, what we like, what we don't like. So we'll definitely upgrade that. Uh, we'll definitely do some head-to-head -head competitions. Um, and other than that, that's about it. Thank you very much, Traeger. Thank you, the Facebook Griddle Group, and thank you for each and every one that's commented. Uh, because if you guys were in a position where we can give you feedback like this, and sometimes people like it, sometimes people don't. If you guys are uh, interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Uh, check us out on the Three Griddle Group on Facebook, where we talk about griddles. I'm and sure we'll be talking about this one. This one seems to be <laughs> high on the list. Love it or hate it, it's the number one talk about griddle that we found in our griddle group. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the no pinch button, share it with your friends. Welcome to the family, Traeger Flat Rock Griddle.